Hi, you doing YouTube? Welcome to okay. another. What? Can I feel the intro this time? You're gonna mess it up. No, no, I've been practicing. I got it down packed. Oh yeah, practice in the mirror. Yeah, go ahead. Hi guys, and don't forget to make those. All the way from Tokyo, Japan to Toronto, here's another episode of Finder Blunder. Leave it to the professionals. How you doing YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Binder Blunders. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about what's coming up in one month. What's that? World Championship Qualifier. Oh yeah, we're going to that, right? Yes, we are. We will see you there, but that's not what we're going to talk about. We are going to talk about what's going to happen at the World Championship Qualifier. Like, what's going to win, why it's going to win, and what you can do to hopefully stop it from winning and maybe you can win yourself. So Dan, what's gonna win? What I think is gonna win, I think in sectors played by a proper person. Well, you're probably wrong. I think Dino Rabbits are going to take it because it's the best deck of the format, it counters the meta, and all they gotta do is side a little stronger against Chaos Dragons and they should be able to beat it. Now on the other hand, we have to understand that there are a lot of side deck cards and a lot of help that people are going to be using to defeat Chaos Dragons and Rabbits all at the same time. Unlikely. There's not one card that stops both archetypes, so that's probably going to suck. Dino Rabbits conveniently can main deck Macrocosmosis, which conveniently kills Insectors and Chaos Dragons at the same time. You're two scary matchups. So, thumbs up to... Dino Rabbit. Now a lot of people are saying that Chaos Dragons is tier 1, Chaos Dragons is the best deck, Chaos Dragons can demolish all, but let's face it, there's a lot of bad hands that can happen, there's a lot of things that can go wrong with that deck, and once you actually figure out that it's all the lights that are doing all the work, and the dragons that are all doing the punishment, you kind of figure out, hmm, if I stop the lights, I stop the punishment. Again, a good macrocosmosis really slows down the deck quite heavily. And if Dino Rabbit can main deck it, and not get hurt by it, pretty terrifying. One of the things that I do want to say, and the reason why I like Insector so much, is the ability to play the deck is non-existent right now. All the good players that would know how to play the deck are playing Dino Rabbits because it is the most broken deck, don't get me wrong. However, I am 90% sure that somebody's going to stand up and go, Hey, I, I don't want to exceed with my powerful monsters. Hey. I want to plus off of them every single turn instead of turning them into a wind-up Zen mains or an Adrius. So, what can you do to prepare yourself to beat Dino Rabbit? I don't know. We haven't prepared ourselves for the last two to three months. And what happened? Chaos Dragon came out of nowhere, finally beats Dino Rabbit down in its place. But it's just a one of. It's the only deck that can do it. Like, what's the deal? We got to figure out something other than Snowman Eaters that can kill this deck efficiently. I really think Valor is the key. Valor beats Insectors. Valor helps slow down Dino Rabbit quite heavily. But if they are maintaining Macrocosmosis, you're in this pickle again. It's a circle, man. But realistically, it's the best deck right now. If they use Macrocosmosis, it's going to put them that much more ahead. Don't get me wrong, drawing into multiples and having cluttered hands probably will suck. But it sucks for you, but it will suck way worse for your opponent when you flip that Macrocosmosis and they're going to go, oh crap. So what you have to do is analyze every other top tier deck list that's been winning, see what they've been using, either main deck or side deck, to help combat the Dino Rabbit matchup. Let's face it, all Dino Rabbits are pretty much the same exact deck. You have six Vanillas, you have three Rabbits, you have three Tour Guides, one Sangan. It's all the same deck. It may run a different allotment of traps, but the traps are not what's killing you. It's the extra deck that is killing you. Well, the extra deck backed with all those traps. Because you got a good leg here there to protect you from heavy storm, and you set five back rows or four back rows. Big trouble. You're in big trouble. So you gotta figure it out. You gotta figure out some cards that work very well to either stop them from doing it, or once they've started it, you can shut them down. Ultimately, what you really have to do is not make those binder blenders. <laughs>